Chara Direct Kiss. Hey, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is a follow-up onto my Brass of All the Little Stars video. This is an orchid that has been struggling the same as the Brass of All the Little Stars. I've never wanted to interfere because when an orchid is struggling, I feel that the transition process to a new media is always a little bit stressful. And leave it alone. Let it get used to its environment. Do what you normally do. Flush, 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 flush and give it a chance to get acquainted and accustomed to your environment and settle in. Three years later, this is what I have to show for. So a similar situation to my Brassavola Little Stars, with the one exception that the whole orchid has not fallen apart yet. But I'm seeing some symptoms. First of all, I'm seeing that it is always bug prone pests like to come here and I'm always at it with some alcohol and my paintbrush and I did see a mealy bug here just now don't know where it's been scale has also been a thing likes to be on this orchid and I'm on top of it it hasn't kind of taken the orchid down there you are in the crevice of that sad little leaf was a mealy bug so I have a little bit more of a harder bristled paintbrush here because as this is prone to scale, I can actually use my alcohol on the brush and the bristles are tough and it kind of comes off, the scale comes off relatively easy. The black tips have always been a part of the orchid since arrival. So I want to unpot her and I'm ready, 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 just in case with everything I need, because this could become a rescue very, very quickly. And yep, there are no roots to speak of, she says. And then there's one right in here, which was aerial for a little while and then went in. So we're just going to take that off. Not going to make a big deal out of it. No roots to speak of. Now, let me show you the difference between this lecker and what I had in the little stars of the video I will link below. This lecker is actually quite dirty. All this debris in here is the fact that roots were trying in the past, but not succeeding. So what are we going to do about this? Well, first of all, I'm gonna get everything out of the way because I can be very liberal with my spraying now. I am outdoors and we're gonna jet this down, get the debris off. Make sure I get all the lecker out first because, you know, I don't want any dogs getting at this lecker. We're gonna see how clean we get this orchid. I don't think I'm going to be cutting anything off that will expose a rhizome. But you can see how sad this orchid is and it is not vigorous. This is plain RO water just on a high jet so that I can get debris off. And then we're going to have a look-see how this orchid has not progressed in three years. If you're new to my channel, well, thank you very much for being here. This is the how I grow my orchids in southern Spain, laca and self-watering. This being part brassavola, some will say it's your grow method that isn't working. And I will probably agree with that. I've had some failures, but in this case, I would say not necessarily the grow method because I have a lot of Brassavola crosses that are doing really well. Never objected. They jumped right in, took off and are doing absolutely beautifully. So let's get rid of some of these bulbs in the back here. These are all spent and dead. They have no business being here. I'm suspecting 
that this orchid has always had underlying issues that I cannot prove. Not at this point, not in the past, but based on how much the other ones are doing and how well and vigorous they are and growing, this one with my breast of all the little stars has probably got underlying issues and for that reason, it is dying a very, very slow death. Everything I'm using right now is sterilized. Let's take this apart and see what's going on. So here we are, two, two plants were in this little pot that I got back in the day. And the orchid is clearly not happy at all. I'm going to keep cleaning her up and then we'll have a closer look at what is going on. Okay, so I've been using plain RO water for this to get as far in to whatever debris is in here and get rid of it. And this orchid clearly has issues on the rhizome. No doubt. Have I left it too long, too late? It's possible. I always go by the principle, don't bother an orchid while it's acclimating. Do the best that you can with what you've got. What I received wasn't of the quality that I would expect. Not an excuse, it's an explanation. And then I just went with my plan as I do with all my orchids. This one, like my little stars, did not respond at all. So we have some pieces, but they're very, very pathetic looking. Let me clean my hands. Piece number one. The general observation here is that this is all hard. There's nothing soft or squishy down here on the rhizome, despite it all being black. There's a new growth trying to grow right here. And I will not be cutting the back bulb off here. This is hard. I'm just going to leave it as a storage unit and see what happens. This little new growth is stunted. And you can see how black it is on the bottom, but it is not soft, it's not squishy. So we're going to give this one a chance. Just for the point and sake of an experiment. Here, piece number two, same story. I have black bulbs at the bottom, but they're super hard. Now, I have an orange nugget that had similar symptoms on the bulbs, and one of my viewers, thank you very much, but I do not remember your name, said that it could be cold damage. And that could have happened to this one too, and that is why we're black down here, even though it's not a spreading thing and it's all hard. We have a new growth coming here, but the roots are failing already on this new growth. Piece number two, we're gonna keep and see what happens for the point and sake of this experiment. Piece number three, the largest of them all, is trying two new growths right there. Lots of debris, black on the bottom, everything same old, same old. But it's hard, nothing is soft or squishy or shows me anything in the form and sign of rot. 
So we are going to keep this and uh, try and rescue it and see what happens to this piece. We have one root at least to work with. My direct kiss here, your Chara direct kiss, is not doing well as you can see. And it hasn't been doing well since I got it. However, I'm going to keep on trying until such a time that it is absolutely a goner. And again, maybe I should have intervened sooner, but I don't normally intervene. In the course of a transition, you either make it or you don't. Sounds harsh? Yep. Yeah. Give it a spray without some hydrogen peroxide. I'm saying alcohol because when I come at this orchid, it's normally with alcohol. Just to get some of the other organic material nuked. And then we shall see what happens. Now, I have my bottle and I have my extractor fan material right here. And we shall see how much we need. Probably this is going to be okay. And into the ICU department, this orchid goes. Do I have any hopes for this orchid? No, not really. After three years of trying and looking at it, I say that I have made my peace if it goes. There's a certain element of frustration, clearly. And if it goes, so be it. Slowly but surely, the collection that I bought off Schwerter in Germany is leaving my collection. They're coming less and less. The orchids that I have from Schwerter are diminishing. Right. Quick note to self before I forget. Everything immediately gets dealt with with the alcohol so that I don't have to remember whether I've done it before or not. And even stuff that I haven't used gets sprayed because of all the water and the spraying that I just did around my surface. Even though most of it falls to the ground, not all of it does. That includes my hob material. It's a good dose of alcohol in case this orchid has an underlying issue that could be detrimental to whatever I choose to use it for next time. the best that I can do at this point in time. And, oh yes, the label. Good spraying down as well. There we go. And now all that remains to be seen is wait and see. Well, I must say I wasn't hardly surprised but after the Brassobola little stars, I wasn't going to watch this pot anymore. I just thought, listen, you two have been in tandem with each other since arrival. I am sure there's more going on. Now we've addressed it. It is now an ICU case. I can only say I hope that the warmer temperatures will give it some kind of a boost and a kickstart so that it will be able to grow the little growth that it has right now down there and give me another route. That would be awesome. Thank you. If you've joined and stayed to the end, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions or observations, any tips or thoughts of writing what I just did, my goodness, you are more than welcome to leave them in the comments below. Let's talk. Have yourselves a wonderful day and please stay safe. Take care. Bye.